Today I want to talk to you about a mess in the making. That's right, a mess in the making. Now I know a title like that can come off strange, but it's important that you understand where I'm coming from. I'm talking about a mess in the making and not making a mess. What's the difference? Well, oftentimes we can feel that we've made a mess of our lives and we've made the wrong decisions in life. Well, that is making a mess, meaning the end of the story is a mess. However, just when we thought that we've made a mess, God takes that mess and tells us he's making something out of it. So when I say a mess in the making, we may start with a mess, but we end with what God is doing. God is forming our future and he's taking those bad decisions and he's turning them around on our behalf. Just this morning, I was reading in the scriptures, Jeremiah chapter 18. And in that particular account, God told Jeremiah, go down to the potter's house. And when Jeremiah got there, he saw the Lord who happened to be the potter. And the potter, he had a pottery on the wheel and he was forming something, but he noticed that the clay, the pottery, it had dents, it was damaged. In other words, there was imperfections. But what the potter did, he did not throw away the pottery. No, he continued to work it out on his will. In essence, he took what was a mess and he was making something of it. And the potter continued to work that pottery on his will until it became something beautiful. That's what God wants you to know that no matter what decisions you have made, no matter what choices that you have discovered could be a mess, God is gonna turn it into something beautiful. Romans 8.28 tells us that he calls us all things to work together for your good. You know, my daughters, several years ago, they asked me to buy them a jigsaw puzzle. And I didn't wanna buy that jigsaw puzzle because I knew firsthand that a jigsaw puzzle can be difficult. However, they convinced me to buy it. And so I bought that jigsaw puzzle. And when I got home, I opened up the box and I put all the pieces on the table. And as you can imagine, it looked like a mess. I'm telling you, pieces were everywhere. And so as I began to start to put the pieces together with them, my daughters, they asked me to leave. And I thought, well, I thought we were gonna do it together. And my daughter said, no, they wanted to put it together on their own. And so I gave them their wish. I walked away. However, reluctantly, I did so. And I'm telling you, a couple of days later, my daughters came back to me, frustrated, aggravated even. And they asked, dad, can you help us put these pieces together? Well, you know, I was elated to do just that. And so when I came to the table, although they had a mess, their mess was in the making. And so we begin to take those pieces and I taught them how to put together a jigsaw puzzle. First and foremost, I told them to go get the cover of the box. Why? Because it had the picture of what the puzzle is supposed to look like on it. And I taught my daughters that whenever you put together a jigsaw puzzle, you have to look at the picture. And that's what God wants you to do, beloved. He wants you to get the picture of your marriage, get the picture of success. He wants you to get the picture of your family flowing together in harmony. Get the picture of your career, get the picture of your future. And then you can begin to put the pieces together as you hear the instructions of God the Father. And know that every piece on that puzzle has its own individual shape. And that's what God wants you to know, that you are a piece, you're an individual piece, and you have your own shape on his ultimate jigsaw puzzle. And so be patient and know that what God is doing is he's taking that mess and he's making something of it. So don't become frustrated. Don't become aggravated when you're looking at all the various 
fragmented pieces that's facing you and confronting you right now in life. Do what my daughters did. Go to God. Allow him by his word and through his word to instruct you how to put the pieces together. And you will discover that you're not making a mess. More importantly, you have a mess that's in the making. So trust God. Hey, remain safe and remember God is real.